impact. Y'all ready for this? And this is my poem, Hope. Ah! My ears ring from the explosion. Every footstep echoes loud and heavy as my enemies run up the stairs. My commander screams and the bullets knock him to his knees. Our walls have been breached. I was not trained for this. As I lay in this pool of blood and chaos, the pounding of my heart continues in my head. One thing runs over and over in my mind. Is this the end? Frozen in this moment, the particles in the air burn my eyes. One look at their twisted smiles is just enough. I know I have no hope. No, I only have hope. I close my eyes to die. And I allow myself to wonder, what is hope? Is it just a thought, a feeling, something we've always been told to give us a sense that someday things will be better? But as my breath rattles from my lungs, I encounter hope, which is not a four-letter word, but in fact a five-letter word, a word spoken since the beginning of time, spread throughout the world first by 12, then 3,000, and now millions, while the religious and political leaders of their day tried their best to suppress it, tarnish it with a seven-letter middle name. This word made flesh, born to a virgin, providing freedom to those enslaved, and carried like a battle cry echoing through the ages for which martyrs have died. It's not a disease. One day, every head will bow and will fall to our knees. This word, so powerful it commands all forces, this word, a name, Jesus.